Let's learn how to use OpenCV to create high dynamic range images. In this section, we learn about the dynamic range of photographs and learn how to create and display high dynamic range images. High dynamic range images are created from multiple photographs shot with different exposures. We'll see the process needed to merge them into a single HDR image and how that image can be displayed. Tone mapping is the process of taking a high dynamic range image and generating a low dynamic range image suitable for display. Exposure fusion is an alternative process for merging multiple exposure photos into a single pleasing low dynamic range image. What is the dynamic range and what are high dynamic range HDR images? Photographers use dynamic range for the luminance range of a scene being photographed or the limits of luminance range that a given digital camera can capture. Most digital images and imaging devices use 8 bits per channel thus limiting the dynamic range of the device to 256 gray levels. While the human eye can adapt to lighting conditions varying by 10 orders of magnitude, the 256 gray levels allow only two orders of magnitude between the dark and bright image intensities. When we take photographs of a real-world scene, bright regions may be overexposed, while the dark ones may be underexposed, so we can't capture all details using a single exposure. Here we have three photos of the same scene taken at three exposures. The exposure determines the amount of light hitting the sensor and can be controlled either by changing the camera shutter size, where a larger shutter allows more light to enter the camera, or by controlling the time the shutter remains open, where a longer exposure time allows more time for more light to enter. Histograms plot the distribution of pixel intensities in an image. The x-axis is the grayscale intensity value, and the y-axis is the pixel count at that intensity. When pixel intensities are bunched up on the left, we are losing detail in very dark regions, and this is called underexposure. When pixel intensities are bunched up on the right, we are losing information to saturation in bright regions, and this is called overexposure. High dynamic range imaging, or HDR imaging, works with images that use more than 8 bits per channel, usually 32-bit float values, allowing a much wider dynamic range. But the most common one is to use multiple photographs of the scene taken with different exposure values. After the combined HDR image is generated, it has to be converted back to 8 bits per channel to view it on most regular displays. This process is called tone mapping. Additional complexities arise when the camera or objects in the scene move between shots, since images with different exposures should be registered and aligned. We will also demonstrate an alternative approach called exposure fusion that produces a low dynamic range image directly from multiple exposures without generating an HDR image first. The OpenCV HDR pipeline consists of several stages. The input is a sequence of photos at multiple exposures. Unless the photos were captured on a tripod of a static scene, it is often required to align the input photos so that they can be properly merged, for example when capturing a scene with a handheld mobile device. This step is optional depending on the use case. True HDR reconstruction requires knowing the exposure time for each input photo. The calibration step analyzes the photos and exposure times to extract the camera response function. The camera response function relates scene irradiance, the light in the actual world, to image intensities so that the multiple exposures can be mapped onto a single intensity scale. OpenCV provides two calibration algorithms and a generic interface for adding new ones. The third step is the creation of the 32-bit HDR image by merging the 8-bit LDR photos. OpenCV provides several such algorithms, again via a generic interface. The last step is the tone mapping, where the 32-bit HDR image must be somehow remapped to an 8-bit image. Obviously, this is a lossy process that generates a new image that attempts to preserve as much details as possible. OpenCV comes with several tone mapping algorithms, each with its own pros and cons, and you should try them all to see which ones suit your particular app. The exposure fusion algorithm creates a low dynamic range image directly from the multiple exposures without generating an HDR image first, so its pipeline is simpler than the full HDR pipeline. We'll start with the simpler to use exposure fusion and then proceed to the full HDR pipeline. Many non-trivial stateful algorithms in OpenCV cannot be easily, conveniently, or efficiently implemented with a single function call. Additionally, it is often required to use multiple different algorithms to solve the same problem in different ways. OpenCV uses the CV algorithm base class as an abstract polymorphic base for many of the library's algorithms. For each problem domain, 
CV algorithm is subclassed to create domain-specific interfaces from which concrete algorithm implementations are further derived. This produces a convenient uniform interface for each domain. For example, the Durand tone mapping algorithm, tone map Durand class, implements the CV tone map interface, which itself derives from CV algorithm. Other tone mapping algorithms also implement the CV tone map interface. When working with polymorphic classes and objects, one generally needs to use pointers and dynamic allocation. Unfortunately, OpenCV cannot use the C11 shared PDR template class since it must support C98. Instead, OpenCV provides its own reference counted smart shared pointer template class, CVPTR. CVPTR takes care of releasing any dynamically heap allocated objects when they are no longer used. The algorithm create functions like CV create tone map Durand return a CVPTR over CV tone map Durand object.